there. Mike Kennedy, what's your name? Eric Graveling. Eric Graveling. We did hear some announcements, people looking for you earlier. Yeah. So how'd that feel out there? Oh, man, that was that's crazy. I didn't think I was going to do that today. I was... Uh, I'm really prepping for a race in, in June, so I came out here hoping for like a top 10, maybe top 5, even podium, and to win it, man, I mean, I'm just excited. This is my first real win, first time crossing the line first, so you I'm just like was? stoked. No, I, I just looked at the preliminary to make sure my name was up there and that somebody in one of the other waves didn't beat me, and I saw it, and I just... That well, was you were the man. absolute first person to cross the line. Yeah, you were yeah. looking for people in the waves to come behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Make and sure one of those 14-year-old kids didn't come yeah, exactly. in there or something. Absolutely. <laughs> or one of the 40. You know, I've been beat by a lot of 40-year-olds. So. Right, absolutely. Yeah, the endurance sports sometimes happen, but this being a sprint like that. So how close do you think you were to the time you had planned to do? Um, I'd say I was faster than what I planned to do, uh, but I can't say for sure. I'll have to see my splits. Uh, I felt pretty good on the run, but... I thought maybe I could have got a little quicker on the run. The bike was better than I expected. So, And uh, I got out of the water, I think, third in my wave, and that was uh, better than I expected. I'm not that great a swimmer, so okay. I was pretty happy with that. Well, I can tell you the guy that was about a minute 40 ahead of you on the swim is an unbelievable swimmer. Yeah, so, yeah. So Eric Christensen, uh, who won this event last year. Yep. So um, to get out there, I mean, and I think... Um, the, pa the pass happened late in the run, too. Probably about two miles into the run is what we're hearing. Uh, about a mile, in, about halfway. Okay, yeah. about halfway. So about well, 1.4 in. Yeah, I caught him about halfway. We probably ran together uh, maybe a quarter mile, and then I then I pulled out from there. That's awesome. Was there? Any, and do you think that your your speed and the wind that there was any adrenaline involved with that you going a little faster than you might have planned to because of the opportunity to go across that line first? Well, I, yes, yes. I actually didn't realize that. Um, that he was, our, uh, actually, was it Kevin Grogan in front of me on the bike or him? It was him. He was in front of me on the bike, and I didn't know that. Uh, so I thought I was leading the bike. So I was. it, it definitely was an adrenaline rush. And then on top of it, with the multi, multiple laps, uh, catching people and blowing past them really gave me a boost. So that really helped me keep my speed up and really push through it. So then you didn't mind having all those other waves in the course because... No, I mean, at, at times somebody would jet over and I'd have to yell, but, uh, um, you know, it, I think the boost overcame the uh, you know the amount that it slowed me down. I think on the bike course, that's where the biggest disparity in skill level is. Yes. Because you've got kids up there sitting upright on a mountain, mountain bike. bike. Yep. Yeah, and then you've got guys out there with aero helmets and tuck position on T you know triathlon TT bike. You know, yeah, that yeah. are just that they, you know that aren't swimmers or runners and are just trying to go out and win it on the bike. Yeah, you see, there's a speed trap out there, and I'd see I'd be coming up on a rider who is putting 17 miles an hour on, and I'm putting 28, so I'm going 11, wow. 11 faster than them. Yeah. So. What'd you hold average on the bike? You know? I don't know. I don't. I don't bring a computer on my TT bike, so okay. I couldn't tell you on that one. Yeah, we had the 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 boy who won the age group held about 24 oh, okay. on his. I mean, so he was and he was cruising, obviously. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's really but moving. He, yeah. I, I don't know if I held 25 or not. That was kind of my goal. It felt like I was close, uh, but I don't know if I really pulled that off. Um, there's a lot of turns and stuff on the course. So We've talked to a few other age group girls here that were just really ecstatic with their first one to hold a 17. Yeah, yeah. You know, and go out and do that, especially on a, a course with a lot of turns, people that don't know how to pedal through the course and everything. Yep. So how long have you been um, a multi-sport athlete? Uh a little less than two years now. Yeah, and what made you get into that? Well, uh, I've been a cyclist for probably seven or eight years now. Got into it in mountain biking up in Michigan. Okay. And uh, I just decided I want to try something a little different, a challenge. So uh, a little less than two years ago, I did a Moss Park Triathlon with that. Coming up here soon. Is that the one you're training for? Yes, yes. Okay. Actually, that is. And uh, I did the my first group, and I got fifth overall in that. Um, and from then on, I was just, I was into it and uh, been training hard. So, you know, I, I really picked up my running, learned how to swim properly. Right. So, uh, you know, I still need some coaching there. And I think if I if I can pick that up, I'll be pretty good. Yeah, so. we, well, part of this swim network here is the At Swimmer Joe. Talk about coaching, that's him. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he, he and Eric Christensen actually are training buddies. So. Oh, okay. Have you looked at doing any other distances as far as... Uh, Strengthening it, lengthening it out beyond the sprint distance? Um, yeah, in fact, uh, the one in July, the Moss Park, I'm doing uh, Epic has a hammer, which you do the sprint and then the uh, Olympic uh, Saturday and Sunday. So that's what I'm doing in, uh, in July. And, um, and what so are the I, Olympic distances for those at home? Um, theirs is uh, not an, the official Olympic distance. Theirs is actually, let me think here, uh, I want to say it's a, a 1.5K swim and then a... Uh, 20k, no, 40k bike for the Olympic, and then I think theirs is a 5.6. 
So that 1.5 swim is going to be something for you to train for. Yeah, yeah, and I actually did one Olympic last year, and I did very well in that. I, I finished fourth overall and um, at the Masters, and so I, I did pretty well on that, um, and so I'm hoping to do that again. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate you coming and talking to us. All right, well, thank you. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. This is um, 